Vote by mail elections, like what we do here in Oregon, uh, have been under scrutiny, as most of you know, in recent months, most notably from President Trump, who has criticized the method and claims it adds to massive fraudulent voting, something that he says is a big problem in the United States. Now, Oregon has been using vote by mail for more than 20 years now, and tonight we wanted to take a closer look at election security. For much more on that, let's get back outside to our Fox 12's Kendra Kent, who joins us now live with more details. Kendra? Yeah, that's right. And we spoke with election officials in Oregon and also in Multnomah County, and they say they cannot stress enough that vote by mail is safe. They say they have security measures built into the system for that very purpose. Oregon established vote by mail back in 1998 with a citizens initiative that was ballot measure 60. And election officials say they've had many of the same security measures in place since then. The Multnomah County Elections Division told Fox 12 that Multnomah County, like all counties, is required to submit a security plan to the Secretary of State ahead of elections. Now, as for the ballot boxes themselves, election employees told us these are heavy steel boxes that are a quarter inch thick and continuously monitored during the ballot mailing period. Ballots are then transported in locked ballot containers by teams of sworn election workers. Multnomah County Director of Elections Tim Scott says the ballots themselves are secure documents. Vote by mail ballots are inherently secure because it's a paper record of how someone votes and uh, each uh, ballot ID is unique for each voter. So uh, the barcode that's on the ballot provides a level of security that only um, valid ballots are coming back to us. And Scott also told me that each ballot is checked for that required signature, including whether the signature writing style matches what they have on file. Election leaders also told us that they do work closely with law enforcement, both locally and then of the FBI and also cyber security agencies to make sure that they are able to guard against any potential threats. Reporting live tonight in Washington County, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon.